TikTok shop just went crazy. They got $99 beach wavers for just $29. They've got $24 hair straighteners that can make any hair type look like this. But this has got to be too good to be true. So to see what they're hiding, I went through the one star reviews and found complaints like this. It broke after I used it for one day. A very frail piece of junk. One star. So to get to the bottom of this, I'm testing that review from Jay along with other shocking reviews from all over TikTok shop, starting with this viral hairbrush that's always sold out. This brush is super popular. It's made with a vented cushion. It has two different sizes of bristles, and unlike most detangling brushes, it's a square shape. But before we get started, check out these other one-star reviews. Kay says, absolutely hate it. Pulled clumps of hair out. I've never had that much hair fall out from brushing my hair, and the picture doesn't do it justice. I use it on my dog now. One star. She also posted a picture of all the hair that came out. We might be ripping some hair out today, guys. And now this poor dog is gonna lose all his hair? It's not right. Kay, don't you worry, this is a serious accusation. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Box says, do not be fooled. This is not the real brush. The real one has the FHI engraved on the actual handle, and this one did not. Buyer beware. One star. You know you're in for it when you see a buyer beware warning and then you just buy it anyway because you just want it. Here's a picture of her brush which is missing the engraving. You can see it's missing. It's exactly what I was worried about guys. Let's go see if we got scammed by TikTok shop. I have an easy way to figure this out because I bought one directly from the manufacturer which I know is real. And the real ones are supposed to have this engraving right here. Now we just gotta see if this TikTok shop one has the exact same logo or not. It does not. Of course it does. There's no logo. Why would it? <laughs> There's no logo. Bak Mate, you were absolutely right. This review is true. There are some fakes out there. And who's even faking this? Like, go back to faking $20,000 handbags, not a cheap brush. So we kind of hit a snag here with our fake, but it's totally fine. We're just gonna use the real one instead and test with this guy. And lucky for us, Leslie is very trusty in letting us use a brush that may rip half her hair out. I never agree to ripping half my hair. Moving on. Here we go, very important. Always make sure you start at the bottom and then work your way up. You start at the top, you can get all the tangles right on top of themselves. Is there a lot of hair getting ripped out or is there just a little hair getting ripped out, Leslie? Hard to tell. Let's take a look how much hair is actually in the brush. A grand reveal. Grand total right there. Clumps. Hey Jane, I have no idea what you're talking about. This brush works perfectly fine. Your review is completely busted. And now that we know this thing is safe, I just want to say thank you so much, Jay, because now we get to see Leslie try to tear this apart. This is scary. Okay. Oh, all right. All right, so she was able to break this. Yeah but this would never ever happen when you're normally brushing your hair. Let's go to the next tool. So this box did not come in great shape, but this blow dryer has a removable filter, negative ions, and some really cool attachments here. And it was only $30. It's too good to be true. This is the same price as a Chipotle bowl. EI6 says, not impressed at all. There was a lot of hype and it works about as good as a hair dryer you'd find at a hotel. Don't waste your money. One star. This should be really easy to find out. Let's go to the next one before Leslie starts to get worried. Fa says, don't fall for the hype. It's not that strong and the plug will not stay in the outlet. One star. Fa, what are you doing with your blow dryer to make it keep coming unplugged? Aren't you bending these two little metal things here to keep them nice and tight? I'm still gonna test it though, don't you worry. Da says, when it arrived, it was missing the brush piece and this was a big reason I bought this one because not many other hair dryers have them. One star. I'm totally with you, Da. The entire point of this is the little brush attachment. They show it in every video. It's the only reason I bought it as well. Let's see what we got. Not the right one. But a nozzle, at least one. A diffuser! Not the right one. It's a big attachment here, guys. Blow dryer, always a good thing. Last item in the box here. Feels good. 
Yes, we got it. This is the entire reason we got this. Da, your review is busted, but I think you're actually telling the truth. All right, let's throw this guy on here so we can test the other reviews. I gotta be honest, for some holding it and the design, it feels really nice and sturdy. This should be way more than $30. But some people are saying that it's not strong enough to do the hair. So I have a thingy here that measures how strong the blow dryer is. Technically it's for weather and stuff, but whatever. This is my Harry Josh that we use in my salon all day, every day. And his strength on the wind speed is about 19. Very strong, very fast. So the question is, can this little $30 guy hang with the Harry Josh? All right, let's see. 13, 14, 15, is it gonna go? 16, okay. The wavy talk isn't quite as strong as my professional, but it's still pretty strong. It's not weak by any means. Let's go to the next test. Now, Fa says that this plug does not stay in the outlet, so we're gonna see what happens when we do some hair. So this plug did come out of the outlet pretty easily, but really that's almost every blow dryer these days. It's totally normal. But truth is truth and you are right. This absolutely did come unplugged. It's time for the moment of truth. Is this better than a hotel blow dryer? And the first thing I'm noticing is this comb is not doing a good job at all. It's making the hair super frizzy. If you can't get good tension, it's gonna be like that. So if you can't tell, this is a little wild and crazy. <laughs> on this side, we use the comb attachment. Didn't really do much good at all. And on this side, we used a regular nozzle with a brush. Not much difference. Not very good. <laughs> yeah, six, you are correct. This is not that much better than a hotel blow dryer. Your review is absolutely true. Alright, Timo Ring here. It is a straightening comb. It has five heat temperatures, a 30 minute auto shut off, all for just $25. Too good to be true, you say? Check out these reviews. Ta says, open it up and there's hair in the straightener. It's used and gross. Photo doesn't do us justice. One star. No, we are not using this. <laughs> Alright, so here's the picture. And that looks absolutely terrible. Tajaz, why are you posting that? It's why would you make me look at that? I'm just kidding. It's actually not that bad. Working at a salon, you go home and like you find hair in like your teeth and stuff. So it's not a big deal for me. I'm still gonna test it for you guys though. How do you get hair in your teeth? <laughs> Need a haircut? That was the last time I ever did a haircut. Ba says, this here takes more time than a traditional straightener and doesn't really work for it to work. Literally have to go over some strand at least seven to 10 times. Not worth even clearance price. <laughs> One star. Bot, I'm with you. Seven to 10 passes is ridiculous. We're gonna get to the bottom of this for you. Also, I gotta say, I love that you started your review with this here. I say this here too takes forever. Now says, my hair stays straight for less than 10 minutes. One star. This is gonna be an easy one. I'm down here in the swamps of Florida. So really all I gotta do is throw Leslie outside, lock the door, come back 10 minutes later. It's gonna be easy. If this only lasts me 10 minutes, I'm going to be so upset with you. <laughs> we're about to figure out if we're going to get big, nasty, hairy surprise like Tajas did. The big reveal. A box inside of a box. The second big reveal. Another box. They did a good job of making sure there's no hair in this. There's hair. No, I'm just kidding. It's totally fine. Totally brand new. They've taken every precaution. Like they have one bag, two bags. A box wrapped around it. I don't, I don't see how there's any way there could possibly be any hair in this. I'm gonna say totally busted. There's no way, Tajas. This is actually really good quality. I love the new plastic smell and it's heavy. It feels really good. It looks really good, but we still have to figure out, am I really gonna have to run this over Leslie's hair seven to 10 times? That's one pass. I'm not mad about it. It's that. not bad. It's really not bad. <laughs> 
I am not having to do seven passes. This is finishing in like one or two passes. That's literally one pass. If anything, this is taking less passes than a flat iron is. I'm actually worried about what temperature it's on. That's how well it's doing. We're literally only using one or two passes. Busted. Blasphemy. But we still have one more question. We need to know, is it going to stay straight or is it gonna be gone in 10 minutes? And since our salon is in Florida, we're just gonna have Leslie take a quick 10 minute phone call outside and see how her hair looks after that. Mom, we just tried this thing called a Timo ring. We're testing it out right now to see if when we go outside, it gets frizzy. You said, oh no, because you already know it's probably gonna get frizzy. <laughs> this makes no sense. If you had perfectly straight hair, this would be great. If you were not Leslie, this would be great. <laughs> <laughs> nah, zero. You were absolutely right. This did not stay straight. It turned to a mess after 10 minutes. Let's all take a quick moment of silence for Leslie's hair. This is also made by Wavy Talk. It's a five in one iron brush set that replaces your blow dryer brush, two wand sizes and two curling iron sizes, all for just $50. Leslie, you know what I'm gonna say here? It's too good to be true. There's no way. But just in case, let's check out the reviews. Nas says, ripped half of my hair out Strands kept getting stuck in between the indent, hurt like hell, took double the time to do my hair. One star. This one's a little scary, right? They're all pretty scary. The worst part of all of this is if it rips Leslie's hair out and has to spend like 10 whole minutes getting her to stop crying. That's the worst part. La says, I used it three times and it made my hair look like it was fried on the ends. I used the heat protector as well. One star. You're in for a day, Les. <laughs> you are in for a day. I was in for a day the other day. <laughs> Do we not remember? Fatten says, very disappointed with the product. I just got this a week ago because it was popping in my feed with lots of sponsored good reviews, but it literally stopped working after one use. One star. Fatten, you got to do better than that. You can't just blindly believe reviews, especially sponsored ones, but that's why I'm here. Let's go figure this thing out. It's really important when you put this together that you don't connect the attachments to other attachments. You have to connect the attachments to the base. All right, it's time to see if Nah was telling the truth. Nah. Nah. Holding it. That part's hard. She was right. It's getting stuck. She was right. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. Change in the technique. There we go. Do, 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 do. Like elevator music. All right. Now I'm going to be more strategic this time. Yay! Not too bad. No reason. The key to not ripping half of your hair out is to make sure you keep the top clean when you're pulling it off. I'll show you. I'm just gonna keep this top exaggerated and out. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Down. That way it doesn't get stuck. Nah, I don't know if this will rip out half of your hair, but I can totally see how this can get caught up in there. Your review, completely true. You think? She was dramatic, but it, it is true. It gets stuck in there. It does get like, stuck. Like, we saw it. Yeah. yeah, it did get stuck in that, especially in that indent, so. Yeah. All right, on to the next review, where we figure out if La is telling the truth about this frying Leslie's ends. I'm actually a little scared about this, because while it might look like a brush, it's actually an iron, which is twice as hot. Let's see how these ends come out. They actually look great. I'm not seeing any damage, not seeing any fraying. La, your review, Completely busted. What about Fatten? And Fatten, I promise we haven't forgotten about you at all. We need to know if this broke after the first time we used it. So, it's powered on again. Nope, Fatten, completely busted. See you later. Next up is our Beach Waver. It has a one inch barrel, three heat settings and buttons that automatically curl your hair for you, all for just $29. Too good to be true. It has a button. Too, you heard it, too good to be true. It has a button. 
Cannot be true. Boss says, the rotator is fast and I burn my face on it every single time. One star. But you're telling me that you burned your face on this and then you did the exact same thing and burned your face again. And then the exact same thing and burned it again. It's a little hard to believe, but we'll see if Leslie falls for it. Sa says, everyone says it takes way shorter time to curl your hair with this. It took me twice as long, curled my hair about an hour ago and they are already falling out. My hair will stay curled for three days with my other curler. One star. All right, Sa, so I'm preparing myself for a curling marathon with this thing. But for Leslie's sake, I really hope it doesn't take that long because she has reservations planned. Yeah, and I'm not canceling it tonight. Not again. Not today, Sa. Dot says, Horrible, rips your hair out, tiny little clamp, can't hold the curl, no matter what product you use, the curl falls right out. One star. I just gotta say, like, we made it through three hair ripping tools already, so honestly, I'm not even worried at this point. Leslie is invulnerable to hair ripping tools. Let's go try this thing out. Way to jinx me. It's pretty. Right, I'm just gonna. This way? I thought this is automatic. All right, we're on the clamp, so. Don't burn your face. Way. Okay. Don't burn your face. Okay, I'm not burning my face. Stop, stop. How do I Did you burn your face? face? Not yet. So, definitely didn't burn my face. Unlock the clamp. I didn't unlock the clamp, <laughs> but I'm not mad about it, guys. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Here we go. How's the face? My face has not burned yet, so that's good. And then release Ideally, the clamp. The okay, I love the clamp. Oh, that one's <coughs> pretty. Guys, look at me. All right, Ba, there are no warrior wounds here. Your review is completely busted. Sorry. But we still have to figure out if the beach waver is much slower than a regular iron. So Leslie's gonna do two curls with a normal iron and then two curls with the beach waver to see if there's a huge difference in time. Here we go. All right, go. Okay. And then this one, here we go. All right, do it this way. And release. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Seventeen seconds. <laughs> She's a pro, and these look kind of better. <laughs> look a lot better. All right, so the beach waver might be a little bit slower. A lot bit slower. Okay, <laughs> Sa, your review is absolutely true. Good for you. We still have to do Dot's test, which is waiting an hour. Well, then Dot's coming to the restaurant with us. We're just gonna do it. We'll show you at the restaurant. All right. I don't think we're gonna make it on time. I don't even know if my curls are even still in. Like they look way looser. Literally the latest, the latest. Dot, the curls hold. Dot, your review is busted.